Hey guys, we're back here with Sword Art Online Unleash Blading, the mobile game, and we have an administrator, or not, we don't have her, but you know, she's, she's here and available for you to get, so I just wanted to do a video and talk a bit about her. そのAlright, so, you know, she is not a limited edition character, and, I don't know, I mean, she's unique, she's good looking, but I am not gonna try to get her. At least, I don't think she's a limited edition character, unless they change what they wrote yesterday. Yeah, it doesn't say it's limited, right? Which means that it's probably not limited, and since it's not limited... I don't see a reason why you wouldn't want to throw your money away on trying to get her. And, you know, she is a collectible character. It's just that I'm not that crazy to try to get her because I haven't even gone sit on yet. And I don't know. I mean, look, I'm at 110 here and that's going to disappear soon too. But anyways, the character herself, I already mentioned it in the last video. And... You know, here's her attack and everything. Incarnate thrust, super strong. Thrust attack. Single enemy, she heals. All allies break 50% Oni. And of course, it goes up to 52.5, I believe. Thrust attack. Provokes. I really hate the provoke, but then again, you know, she has the protect and counter thing. Which makes her semi good for certain events, but I don't think she's gonna be good for every event. Because what are you gonna do? You're gonna you're gonna suck up all the attacks or something with this character, maybe. Her special partners with Alice. I mean, I read online about some people saying, ah, you know, makes her a powerful character because she's able to suck up the attack or basically take on the physical like with the increased physical resistance right max 50 percent and then she provokes and then it, she increases her own attack by 15 percent i don't know i mean she's good in her own way but let's be honest here this is a physical character right which means that i believe the next round of uh Earth type element is gonna be magic, which means your fucking character is gonna be useless after, right? Because it's gonna be magic characters. Right now, it's a thrust attack. And from my memory, whenever those magical enemies, they have like huge freaking physical resistance, and then <laughs> your character just become useless, just like that. Like literally, just like that, right? So even if you get her, she's usable for the uh event now oh hey there's a new event ultimate battle that's interesting let's see if we get anything oh hey this looks cool you know with all the premium currency here i hope it's beat these bosses and i get the premium currency because i might be able to beat them what are we at? Stage 1, Ultimate. And then it goes up here. Title. Ah. You know what? I'll play this. And then we will see. But as it stands right now, I am not trying to get Administrator. I feel like she can become useless with a snap of a finger. Right? Because, I don't know, I mean, if they just pretty much say, hey, I want to make this character 
like or make the event that is magical, your characters just become useless. So I don't know. I mean, I'm just thinking of that. And she's not limited, which means you'll get her sooner or later. But anyways, I'm not gonna do the scout. It's not worth it for me. I rather do the limited edition scout, even though I'm not gonna get the limited edition stuff. But I could still try. And of course, sooner or later, this Christmas administrator will be available for you to get. And don't forget, what do you call it? It will probably come out in the selector as well. Which I, you know, I prefer the selector. And I really hope and I think they will do it. I could be completely wrong. They will probably make a limited edition selector scout available on christmas if they don't i don't know what the hell they're doing with their limited edition stuff and if they're doing like a limited edition scout i'm not doing it at all because i think it's completely worthless because you know i have most of a limited edition character what if i get duplicates I mean, that's a freaking waste and you know how rigged this thing is and of course you that you should always exchange for the repair because the newer repairs are much better, right? I don't even know how many exchange swords I have. You know, they, I, those exchange swords, I used to like feel like I have a lot. Now I feel like I don't. What the hell? Are you serious? Sell that guy. But yeah, you know, if you like a miniature, just get her or try to get her. Because even if I tell you to get her, you can't really get her. Because, you know, you, you either get it or you don't get it. There's no way of saying, hey, I can guarantee it. Actually, you can. You go to step, uh, go to step seven. You're guaranteed. It. I think you're guaranteed her on step seven. But let me just exchange for this repair. Do, 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 do. There we go. That's what you should get, the repair. But, you know, for the for this scout, I don't recommend it. Let me go here. Okay, so... I just did a scout today. I'm on step 5, and surprisingly, I didn't even get the advertised character. It was ridiculous, right? All right, so step one, you pretty much not going to get her. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You see this, right? You see it, right? Now, if you don't see it, I'm going to tell you it. They had, first one is 50% off. Second one is no longer 50% off. The third one is 50% off. So they're going back to the original one. And from my memory, if this, you know, if you go to step five, you should be able to get it. If you don't go, if you go to step five and don't get it, it's still rigged. But, you know, I, ever since they came out with the step two and whatever, I'm almost guaranteed the rates were changed. Anyways, I don't know. For me, I'm not getting hurt. 